Go to the garden and bring sweet potatoes. And you must bring frigid cans of water. Uncle, I have brought tea. Uncle, here is tea. Thank you. It's okay, it's okay. Put it somewhere here. Now what you are going to do is this. Don't tell anybody about it. If I hear that you have told anybody, I will cut you in two pieces. Have you heard? the time now. Why do you always make it a point to come to school late? Madam, I'm so sorry. Shut up! At what time are you going to do your daily work and then go to class? Madam, I beg you to do it oh, at oh, that uh, time. Shut up! Knowing very well your family background, you always make it a point to come late. Madam, I now, beg you turn, to I need those Madam. <laughs> that are not run. Listen and listen good. Now go to the powerhouse, get the hole and begin with your work right away. Hurry up! <laughs>
Madame Coretti told me to come and leave. To come and leave? When your colleagues are in class? Okay, which class are you? I'm in P6. Primary 6. And I've seen your colleagues are busy in class. For you, you are just here digging. What's her name? My name is Nabulia Bena. Let's go. Let's go together. Let's go. Move. From Kakola? Yes. All that distance? Yes. Ah. Refra, that's a wrong distance. Yeah. They were escorting me. Mm -hmm. But I thought I would get a border border so near. So I started slowly by slowly up to now. First way. And I'm, I'm really tired. But, but first way. Refra, as the area cancer, I remember I once led the congregation, all the Christians, to buy you. A motorcycle, cycle, mm. which was a success. Yeah. Where is the motorcycle? Ah, the motorcycle, sincerely. It has no, it lacks fuel, or mm -hmm. st stealing is also becoming culture these days, or oh, it was stolen. No, not stolen. I sold it. Yes. Reverend Grace, you sold off the motorcycle, which was bought by the parishioners without. Consulting them? For me, I think the work I'm doing of caring for orphans, it is much important than me riding here and, you know, moving here and then on my motorbike. So I saw this to <laughs> care for these orphans. I'm even becoming suspicious. And spite you, Reverend, you are not very conversant with the scripts. Sincerely, you don't know the Bible. Because it's in the Bible. Jesus himself said, let the poor and the orphans be there for good. You think setting off a church property can make this world free from uh, orphanage and uh, poverty? Look here, cancer. Hmm. The orphans I'm caring for, none of them is for my family. They belong to this parish. And the work I'm doing is for the parish. It is for the parishioners. There you are right. There you go. But now look at yourself. 
You are abashing us. You are abashing the parish. Look at yourself. Too dusty. Look at the shoes. Huh? You are even sweating. So then firing, you are sweating. Really, you are becoming a, a, a very big embarrassment to our parish. For me, I know I'm doing the work of the parish. And Jesus himself you are talking of. He had no motorbike. He had no motor car. But he did the work of God. Now. Get me right. That Rever is what I'm doing. Reverend Grace. So, you are taking me back to the 10th century. Jesus, where motor vehicles and motor cars, they had not been manufactured. You are joking with Jesus. If Jesus was here today, <laughs> he could be driving either limousine, sport, or V8. You are joking with Jesus. He couldn't walk. He couldn't walk. I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> Leave the Bible. But what I'm telling you, I'm doing the work of God. And I know God appreciates my work of caring for this orphan and helpless children. Now, thank you very much, Reverend Grace. Thank you. Thank you for embarrassing us. Thank you. But I'm so much disappointed with you. If you are taking me, let me go. I cannot take you. And I'll make sure that you are transferred from our parish to another parish. I can't take you with both your motorcycles. You are telling me to take you. Come on, Bashasi. They don't know what they are doing. Madam Esther. Yes, Reverend. I'm not happy. Why, Reverend? As I was in church, I had somebody crying. So I moved out to find who is crying. I found that girl. And she was taking heavy sunshine. Why? And to my surprise, as a learner, I in class studying. You young girl, what is your name? I am Teo Navulia. Navulia. Hey, Reverend, this girl is a school dependent. That's what she must do to get her facilitation. Okay. However much she could be a school dependent. But why at the time when others are studying? She's supposed to come early and do her work before the lesson start. But she ever comes late. Only, have you ever tried to find where does she stay? Where she can from? She's a total orphan and she stays at Mr. Mugera's home. Mr. Mugera? I think she calls Mrs. Mugera her aunt. Mm, Mr. Mugera. Mr. Mugera, sir. Okay. Okay. But. Uh, I couldn't buy the idea of working when others were in class. What you should do? Okay, so you have said she's orphan. Yes, Reverend. So she's staying with you? Mr. Mugera. Okay, what do you do? Put her on my list. Reverend, your list is too long. Mm. Mm. I admit. It could be, yeah, it is too long. But again, we, have, we need her to study. Let her be put on my list and let her study. The kids are too many for you to bear. And the money I was supposed to give you last month, I used it to cater for those kids. And it wasn't enough. Yes, I understand. But I have said let her study without being disturbed. OK? Okay, Reverend. I know God will provide. Let us study. Okay. Okay, Reverend. Madam Mugoretti, yes, Reverend has said that you allow that girl in the class on his list. But, Madam, 
why doesn't Reverend declare this school a charity home once and for all? For how long are we going to keep teaching these children for free because of Reverend's fate? For me, I can't tell. I have tried to explain to him, but he could not understand anything. But where is he? I don't know. Okay. As you know, Reverend is very forgetful. I will let the girl in. But after two days, I will send her away. Allow her to enter class. Like a cockroach digging through the dirt. What are you still doing here at this time? Madam, she's sick. Shut up! Are you Theo? How dare you answer back at me? I can't even slap you. Now, you go to the reverend's place. You Theo, go home. Do you want your auntie to come here and start quarreling? But madam, you don't have mercy. I'm telling you the girl is sick. Hey, hey, shut up! I told you to go home to the reverend's place. And you Theo, get home this instant. Do you want your auntie to come and start quarreling with us? Go home. Sam, go home right this instant. You kids on bursaries think everything is for free. The food here is for only people who pay. Now hurry up. I'm sick and tired of seeing you loitering here. But madam, my period... Periods? Is that reason enough for you not to do your, your homework? It has been two good days and you come back here and tell me, madam, I'm in my period. No sense. I said lie down. Madam, I'm sorry. I'm also sorry I'm not forgiving you this time round. All the time you are up and down. You have plenty of time, but all you ever do is indulge yourselves in immoral activities. Please, lie down. Last time you reported me to the reverend that I came in. Now I'm going to tell you and you report again. I'm going to show you that I'm a daughter of a mutika. I fear no one. Now go and clean yourself.
guys laughed at me, Mary. Tell, did they have laughed? Tomorrow too. Oh, I wish I don't come back to school anymore. Tell.
Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I was there. Oh, yeah. We do. Oh, yeah. We do. Oh, yeah. Hi, what's up, guys? You know what? You know, I am the next HP of the school. We do. I, I have come here for your boats. Will you manage? Better than serious. Who are you going to rule? Even you shot like a kid? <laughs> but what I have proved, the problem is on Bongay. Serve them, serve them, serve them. Bongay, 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 Bongay. Let me, uh, let me add you. Bongay. That can be satisfied. Come oh. on. Ah. <laughs> you see? That Bongay is just the beginning. I'll give you more than that bongay. I'll give you a kadanke every weekend. That's a party for us to celebrate. Come on. Kadanke? Yeah. Sample us. You sample us. But for us, we want to vote our fellow girl. Which is girl? Teo. She can't. Teo? How can you say that? That she a big girl, a stupid girl. Yeah? She can't be the HP of this school. How can you be the HP when you can't even find yourself? Eh? You, cannot, you cannot even go in the class and find their blood stains. Stop there. Go slow. One stay. But you guys, my friend has not spent two days without coming at school. Two days? Yes. Mm, what could be the problem? She was beaten. The girl is not now coming at school. She was beaten. Also, she was in periods. And also, the teacher announced it. The bad oh. thing with primary. You better come to secondary. They First don't they don't hide hide. Hide. All people laughed at her. Oh, now my friend has been now two days. I miss her. Of course I know. But guys, you are going home, isn't it? Hmm. Please check for me whether Cho is there at their home. Okay, we shall. My friend says ensure me that you will. Oh, okay, mm, we shall. Check. Yeah. Yes, please. See you. Okay, okay say bye -bye. hi to your friend. Says Munga. Yes. Is still at home. Teo. Yes. She's, she's at school. Yet we bypassed and they told us she's not there. Please, you are you are deceiving me and you are trying to joke with me. Even it's Mary who told us to come and check on yeah. her. Here. Yes. No, she's at school. But they have said that two days minus her going to school. Two days? How? Every day? She goes to school. Okay, have a nice day. Two days. You have to go into school. Let me go get four sticks. She will see me. Uh, Mary. Yes, Reverend. As I already tell you, with other learners who are under my care. Yes. Or oh, other orphans. In our family, we are? Sisters. So, we should share? Yes. We should? Share. Share. As brothers and sisters. sisters. Okay. Yes. So now this new girl I adopted, 
Yes. Even I don't remember very well the names. Uh, Tail. Oh, uh huh. Tail. Yes. So you should share with her. Okay. Yes. And try to guide her how we behave in our family as brothers and sisters. sisters. Okay. Yes. Uh, by the way, is she at school? Reverend, hmm? the girl was beaten. Ken? Yes. And also she didn't have mother use. Oh, now nice. she has spent four days without coming at school. Now as you are saying, since then she's not coming to school? Yes. That means she may even learn out of school because of caning and lacking of sanitary titles. I think so, Reverend. Oh no. Oh. Oh. And if we see one missing school because of sanitary towels, it shows that even others may not be having. Okay. I will see the head teacher. Okay. Then. And I think we must do something about that. Okay? Okay, you can. Madam and the teacher. Yes, Reverend. I, s I wanted to advise you. Actually, not advising you. It is you re advising you. Because I told you the same thing sometimes. The school should be still okay in learners. No one enjoy caning. Point to not a Reverend. So you should tell teachers to stop caning. Learners. I heard that that girl was caned. I had no parts. So I tried to move to my friends, and one of them was given me this bag, the full of sanitary towels. So give them to girls. Oh. Yes. Good news. I know if one girl is not having, even the others who are not. Having. It's true. And many girls are leaving schools because of not having those sanitary towels. So if I was or has also do, been dodging school because of such, a friend has helped me. So you give them all. Okay, thank you, Reverend. There are even many. I'm going to distribute to all girls. Yes, I think they will take us like a three months as we are mobilizing for more. It's true. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Reverend. You're welcome.
pretend as if you are not hearing me. Tewo, I'm talking to you. Tewo, and you are crying. What is it? Tewo, don't think about your parents. Reverend told us he's our father and mother. It's not that, Mary. Then what? Tewo, you are no longer digging. Reverend is paying for you. <laughs> it's not digging, Mary. Then what? Okay. I have no. It's all about Madame Goretti. Just leave the lady for It's not Madame like Goretti. Then what? <laughs> Mary, I have a problem in my neck. Teo, in your private parts? <laughs> Did you tell that about your aunt? No, Mary, my aunt will beat me. <laughs> no, Teo. Your aunt will not cane you, Teo. Okay, me I think. Let us tell Reverend about this. <laughs> no! No, Mary, please don't tell Reverend. No, Mary, the man will kill no, me. The no, the man. Which man? <laughs> Teo. Come on, answer me. Which man? Mary, I can't tell you. Oh, don't you trust me? Remember last time you gave me your money? Whom did I tell? Teo, just tell me. Mr. Mugere helps me. First way. You mean Nakabito's father? <laughs> yes, Mary. The man is more to that extent. <laughs> he raps me and this is the fifth time. Tell, let's tell this about Reverend. No, Mary. He promised to kill me. He will not the man kill will you. kill me, no, Mary. Come on. Good evening, Eche. Good evening, Mary. You have not gone for supper and it is time for food. Madam, for me, I will not eat. Why? Are you sick? No. Mm. Do you want to get ulcers? Please go and get food. Madam, it's not that. Mm. My friend Teo has a problem. Which problem? Madam, she has a problem in her private parts. Ah, those are periods. No big deal there. She will be fine. No, madam. Teo was raped by a man. Raping? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, madam. As if yesterday I wanted to sense the way she was walking in the morning. It was not normal. Madam, Tor was raped by a man and also the man told her that if she told someone, she's going to be killed. Killing? Yes. Who told her that? The man who raped her. Please, Mary, don't worry. You leave those issues with me. I will handle them. Okay, madam. See you, madam. Okay. Madam Esther. Yes, Reverend. I always tell you to take a research about your learners. I've got information that one of your girls, this last girl whom I've just adopted, that she was raped. Then what have you done? I was trying to call you, but you have come before my call. So I'm sorry for that. Anyway, one time when I was coming from Rue, there is uh, an organization which gave me a lift. Is it love and hope? I love and care, something of that nature. So I'm going to call them. I will direct them to you. Please do the need for you. It's okay, Reverend. And take this matter seriously. Me. Yeah. I've just been nearer here. Sure. In the Kasana. Yes. Hey. That's why since I haven't been very far, yeah. I've decided to just come and meet you. Thank you, Vanessa, for the work you are doing. Really, we appreciate it. Uh, oh. <laughs> you also work hey. So, I've given you a call. Yes. Is there we have a challenging uh, situation? Uh. Yes. A car was left. She's very. Before, how 
have you known the Abu Payo? No. The girl has refused to reveal who left her. But later she challenged. And but she needs don't, help. Don't worry. That's our core interest. Mm. Fighting for children's rights. Yes. Ah, love, and love and care. Those are our games. So we can work up. Thank you for that work. May God bless you. Sister, if you are helping children, you are doing the greater work for this nation. Is the girl around here? Yes, the girl is around. Uh, we, we should first take her to the hospital for Sister, medical checkup. Bring that girl. I think let me first send someone home to inform the parents. Uh, no, no, Madam, no, no, don't no, no. bother. Sending someone home may disturb the evidence. Yeah. So just bring the girl, we go, period. Okay. Anyway, bring the girl. So she's the Madam Esther we talked of. Mm. Yeah, maybe she's uh, the head teacher here. Oh, the girl. Oh, my God. So good. Listen, should we go together to the hospital? Ah, uh, I'm a bit busy. You're a bit busy? Uh, yes. Let me so take you. You go with the head teacher, probably. Okay. Kalia Menvu is here, joking. Yeah. Hey, Kalia Menvu. He never makes jokes here. Hey, I'm saying. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey. 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 hello, daughter. Hello. We'll be back. Thank you, Mama. Hey. We'll be back, dear. Thank you, Mama. How has been school? School has been good. Why? Why? I tell you what, Mommy and Daddy. A vehicle came at school. And I saw a man and a woman taking tail. Taking tail? Yes, and I later saw Reverend and the head teacher going there. Over. Over. You mean the Reverend came with that vehicle? No, I only saw him there. And he went with them in the vehicle? Yes. Huh? Mm -mm. No, I don't remember. But that girl is also a fool. How can they take out that girl without our consent? They said that that girl was raped. Raping? You see what is coming? Now, who raped her? Raping? We are. Who can rape that girl? That Leveland is appropriate. I don't know that they got me. Help was to take away that casting man. I wonder his understanding. I told that you before. the girl before doctors because they invited me in the room. You could not imagine passing the private part and smelling. Sure? Yes. Even they have abused us as teachers. That how could we be with a girl up to that level when we could not help? But I tell you, that cannot be. R Mr. Mugera is a very religious man. He's a, a married man. A parent. So how do you tell me the head of lady raped that young girl? It is hard to tell. Then who did it? Why could a girl of B6 love to tarnish his name? Me, but for me, I don't agree to that. That girl has a boyfriend. What? Roberto, the reverend's son. I can't believe. Yes. Then why did she say Mr. Mugera? 
Madam, nowadays girls are very wise. She did that just to protect the boyfriend. Things have gone far. But who are these people and how did they get to know? I can't tell. For me, Reverend is the one who told me to go with them. Reverend? How did he get to know? I think the girl is the one who told him. I'm scared. Let me go and concentrate on my work. Okay. What you have to remember? You are servants. We are the parents. The owners of this school. And the children who are here belong to us. You don't have any child in this school. If you decide to take our children, you don't have any children. But chairman, the rights of the learners are supposed to be protected. However much they are not our children, but we are serving the, the, this, this parish. Anyway, we thought we are doing the right to help to let the girl receive the Excuse me, the friend. Are you Mgera? No, I'm not. Uh, I thought you were the one. <laughs> I thought you were the one. I feel like boxing him for what he did to the girl. Levrand, can you imagine a man of all that age to have sex with a, a juvenile of 15 years? <laughs> I, I can't understand. just leave him. I can't just leave him. I think since you have treated the and girl, we leave. No, 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 Levrand. If God just gives me a chance to look at that stupid creature, the so called Mugera, ha, I don't know. Tony, you know, we thank you. You have treated the girl. Yes. I know. But still, we have to deal with that man. That's our core interest. That's our core interest. Serving the rights of children. But since we have treated the girl, I think it is enough. We can't we, leave the he has to serve as an example to the community. You know, these people pretend to be so big that no one. Even this one is defending him. And others, the counselor, was also defending him. I think we will need to handle these issues. And the, you know, everything now it is becoming Lever, challenging. We have treated the girl. We are now dealing with the case. That's it. We communicate. That's what you wanted. Mr. Mugera, Mr. Mugera, who is that? Chairperson, yes. you are most welcome. Thank you. In fact, I wanted to call you. I'm from school. You are from school. And things are not good. If possible, don't sleep here today. Those people, I don't know what they are planning. I don't know what they are planning. But this paper, they do not sleep here today. At least two days, when you are away, and you see what they are planning for you. Okay? Look, I've heard. You are the one. <laughs> <laughs> I reached here. I knew your place where you normally sit. <laughs> I didn't know you were the one. <laughs> As usual, you're most welcome. Mugera, I can see you are losing weight. It's only the head which is still big. But do you know the problem? The problem is that Reverend, you are talking about this uh, catastrophic Reverend of ours, Reverend Grace. That ours? Grace, that man is very, very catastrophic. He has very many problems these days. Is the bad. Do you know he sold off our uh, motorcycle which we bought him? Of course I know. That Reverend is corrupt. Sure. He's corrupt. How corrupt is he? And the genesis of all these matters, eh. all these problems, is because I asked for accountability. Which accountability? 
I asked for accountability for the church, uh -huh. accountability for our schools. And he presented it. No! So you mean, he failed to extrapolate the accountability of the school and the church. Yes, origin of resentment. Yes, resentment. you are right. Because I asked for such accountability. And you are right. That man, I don't know what to do for that guy. That man, but I will look for a solution. You, 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 you just leave him. Cancer on your hand. But now, Mogera, you know me, I'm a cancer. Yes, I, I, and I, my friend. And your good friend. <laughs> you know that one very well. Yes. And I always, you know, I chat with people. Yes. But the bad thing, people are motor mouthing about you. Are you sure? Ah. Everyone is motor mouthing about Mogera and the younger girl. I don't know whether it's correct or it's wrong. I'm also just puzzled. Everyone is talking about you. So I don't know what you are going to do. And this information has been disseminated to very many people. Mm. And now, Mogera, I'm telling you, it's just a piece of advice. Don't get surprised when you see police here. They will come and arrest you. So eh? you better leave this place. You can go to Kampala or Chiriandongo or Chabazara or any other place where you can stay comfortably. But you have to leave this place. Let me tell you this. Mm. It should be unfair for myself to leave my beautiful house and I go somewhere, yet I, I, I'm innocent. How do you prove your innocence? You know, you gain a macho distance. When you're outside, you can fight. You can easily fight from outside. But by the moment they detain you, it will be hard for you to fight. So my piece of advice, I'm giving you two options. You either impulsive red side yeah. to remain here. Mm. You wait for police to come and arrest you. Then they detain you. Or you leave this place. You can stay where you want. Counselor, I'm innocent. I'm telling you, I'm innocent. That's good. I'm here with Madame teacher. Madame teacher? Yes. I'm fine. Okay. I know this one is also fine. Oh, PDA. Yes, I'm not fine. What is it? I'm not settled. What is it? I'm not settled at all. What's the problem? How could you? How dare? Why did you do it? What is it? I'm wondering. How could you keep quiet when you're hearing such grapevine? disseminating in the community. A person I thought is very, very sagacious, severe to handle such issues. Chairperson, PTA, people are motor mouthing about our man, and you keep quiet. No, you know what? Hey. I'm the PTA of uh -huh. the school, hey. but she's Madam Hidji. So how did that, how did that occur? We just don't take our Can you tell us how did it start? How did it end? Ask her. How did it occur? It's not me, Reverend. She doesn't know. By the way, where did this man come from? The Reverend. The Reverend. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know the man sold off the motorcycle for the church? For the parishioners. I remember. Which was bought. He sold it off. I remember. Who advised him to sell it off? Could she be a victim? The teacher. Could she be a victim? He sold off the motorcycle? And his wife is aching. Now, I don't want to waste time. I always refer to God. And the Bible says, give what belongs to God to, and what belongs to Caesar. Now do the needful. Before the situation turns to the Christian. I'm not, I'm not fine. How are we bailing our money out? Don't forget, Mugera is, is my voter. You know, I trust you mm. as a counselor. You wise man. You wise man. You're right. 
and I believe you have a solution. You for know, me, my proposal, mm. if this man can disappear for some two days, when he's not around. There you are talking. <laughs> yes, he can disappear. Yeah. The police, they will be searching, searching, searching. No way. Nowhere to be seen. That's good. They will be back. And they have a better plan. Mm -hmm. Good is not good enough when better is enough. We have to abduct that girl. We you never it. see her. We do it for the favor of Mugla. Do the need for. Madam Great, Thank to God. see here that you are here. Thank God you've come. <laughs> yes, please. Mr. Okay. Mugera. Yes. That you raped that young girl, Teo. Oh. And it's disturbing me a lot. Actually, rumors are over our community. Hmm? But they just want to tarnish my name. That is true. Hmm? How can a good man like you do such? That reverend is just against me, madam. People are not appreciative. That is what hurts me the most. Mm -hmm. Now, madam, because for you a, for a professional teacher, a teacher is don't fail. Mm -hmm. That's why I came to you, such that you can help me come out of this trouble. Mr. Mugeda, relax. Please. I have a solution to that. Sure. It is Madam Esther and the Reverend who are behind this. Yes. However, it is Reverend's son, Roberto. Roberto. Who is in love with that girl. Sure. And I believe she's pregnant. And I even have a letter he sent her. Roberto is in love with that girl? Yes. Then you for me I'm innocent. So you don't have to panic, because we can use that against him. Now, madam, help me. Use ah. that money to search with such information such that people can know. Mogera is innocent. It's a deal, my friend. However... I will not sit down here and watch as a good man like you. Yes. Your reputation going down the drainage. It's what I will not sit down here and watch. So, mister, I'm with you all the way. Thank if it means war, I'm behind you. Thank you, madam. Happy to see you. You're welcome. Are you Reverend Grace? Yes, I'm the one. That's good. I'm called Sergeant Ricky. Yes. Yeah, I'm here to know there is some information which you want to know yes. about this young girl, Gweba Raping. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know some information. Mm. Actually, this girl has been studying here mm. in primary six. Mm. Uh, she's among the group of uh, runners mm. who am I caring for? I'm mm. um, the one paying fees. Mm. I had just uh, adopted her oh. from the village there. Mm. So one of her friends mm. told me that she was raped. Mm. And the girl really, she was looking sickly. Mm. Her life, I think, it was, she was showing a lot of pain. Yeah. So there is a group or uh, an organization mm which I called, mm. I have a friend there, so I called the, group, the organization mm. to see whether they can help her. Okay. So they came mm. and picked her, mm. sincerely she's in the hospital, oh. but they have uh, said actually mm. the girl was raped mm. and she has a lot of challenges internally. Okay. So that is the information I have, mm. yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make some search. Okay. But to Yes. To know more information about it. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm around. Okay. Yes. Sure. May God bless you. Thank you. Let him 
Mariana. Daddy Mariana. Keep her coming. Are you sure they are not the one who I will not run anymore. I will cut whoever comes for me here. Because we do the need for... Mrs. Mugera, your man is the problem. Sincerely, he is now catastrophic. I advised that gentleman to go and hide uh, in Kampal, Chiriandongo, Chegegwa, Chabazara. He refused. Now the information is everywhere. It has been disseminated. Everyone is speaking about his case. So I have, I have no solution. I told him, mm. but he refused. If they need money, talk to them. Money. And, and we give them the money. Money? Yes. You think money can bail us out? <laughs> I don't think. You know, rape or deferment, it is a felony. It is not a misdemeanor. That is a complicated case to deal with. Okay. Let me ask you. How old is that girl? The girl? She's 15 years old. What? Only 15? Okay. I've got the solution. You know, the best solution, we have to abduct that girl. We hide her away, such that evidence is nowhere. But she's in Reverend's home. Husband, you mean she's back at the Reverend's place? Yes. <laughs> settle. Just settle. Give me room. The rest is for Kansara. Okay, thank you, Kansara. When I come to die with you, I will die with you. I must die alone. I will die with you. I need to die alone. Where is your dad? Are you sure? You can. I'm not joking. My dad is not there. Rachons is. Rachons is. What are you, Rachons? I wanted to know something. How do you call Reverend? Reverend? Yes. I call him Reverend. I mean, what is your relationship with him? I don't have any relationship with him. Then where are your relatives? My relatives? I don't have any relatives. Where is your father there? That one I don't know. How about your mother? My mother with my brother died in the fire that consumed our house. Oh, sorry about that. Now that you don't have any relatives, where are you going to take her now that she's pregnant? Teo, she's pregnant? Yes, she's pregnant and you're responsible. Don't you remember the other letter you sent? I have something for you. What is it, Robert? Hmm. 
Roberto, what do you mean by marrying me? Tell I love you and I mean it. For me, I don't love you. Roberto, I'm an orphan. You're also an orphan. Who's going to take responsibility of who? No, don't worry. Reverend will take care of us. Reverend? Until when? Till I love you and I mean it. For me, I don't love you and I also mean it. Madam, the letter was just for just. Just for just? What do you mean by that? Madam, for me I know that Mariana raped tail. What? Who told you such? Madam, don't you know? Even the police is coming for him. That cannot be. Daddy Mariana is a responsible man. Stop laying accusations about people. Madam, leave me. If you begin such things, let me Roberto, go. Roberto, tell me more. Marianne, what? Is your dad at home? <laughs> and why would you ask? Is it abnormal to ask about your dad? And why not? Why can't you ask about your father? Am I the one who killed him? I am the one who told you that trip tale. Eh? Go slow. My father can never do such nonsense to that foolish girl. Eh? Mariana, your dad has no shame. Your dad raped tail. So, Shut up! My father? My father can never do such nonsense. This is my dad. I want concrete evidence to show that my dad is a rapist. Yes, dad raped tail. My dad never raped that fool. You raped tail. How can I rape that tiny girl? Peter. Have I ever raped anybody? No. Madam, better be serious. I'm saying be serious. I can't rape that girl. I, ca I can't, I can't, I can't. People are saying that you are the one who raped her. But now how can you believe in rumors? Let me tell you the truth. It's just this land against me. Because I asked for accountability for the judge, for those schools, so it's against me. That's the only challenge we have, madam. I'm happy to see you. Thank you, Reverend. Good evening to you. Yeah, sincere, I'm glad to welcome you. Me, I'm not happy. <laughs> Why, Counselor? Reverend, we are not impressed with your zeal. We are not impressed with the way you are conducting yourself here. You are new in the area, but you know, you, 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 it's like you are becoming a dictator. Huh? When you come to a new place, first find out the genesis of certain things. Yes. Huh? Can you imagine? That Mr. Mugera you are talking about. Look for the group. Which group co co constructed the, uh, our church? This is Mr. Mugera's family. Ah, talk about this house. Where he sleeps. It is Mr. Mugera who built it. You can imagine. You see? Mr. Mugera's effort. But now, for you as spearheading, and you are, you are, you are working not that teeth to make sure that Mr. Mugera is jailed, detained. His, his life is put behind bars. Right. I know. As a resident, I found this house here. I found the church here. And the school. But as a serving resident in the parish, I have the right to protect all parishioners, including children. Oh. I'm not the one who told Mugera 
to rap the girl. My intention was to see that the girl received medication. That's the evidence. Regular. That's the evidence, Philip. Regular. Can you walk on the talk? Do you have evidence? Really? Did Miss Amagera rape the girl? Get me right. It is not me who is saying so. It is the girl who is saying she was raped by Mr. Mugera, not me. Reverend, we want to appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, you found this church in peace, but you want to, to leave us in pieces. in pieces. Just go on, sir. Continue dividing our church. Just go on. But just know, Christians are not happy with you the way you are driving things. You are tarnishing the reputation of our church. Sort yourself. You are still here? Even after warning you to leave this place, you are still keeping yourself at home? Mr. Chairman, my husband is not the one who raped the girl. Let him leave the place. You are very well now innocent. Now why should I leave my home? The man behind this is not a joke. It's better you fight outside prison. I know what is in the prison. The moment you are in, you is no way. Chairperson, I'm not going anywhere. I'm innocent. Fight from out. I'm not leaving my leave home. The home. Yes, daddy, don't go. Let him leave the home. Leave the home. Move away from home. I can't leave my home like that, Chairperson. I'm warning you. Leave the home. I'm innocent. Leave the home. I can't. I I'm can't. Telling you. Leaving my home and my family like that. Where is your husband? He's not around. You tell us, or else we are going to take you. Oh, I'm here for Hannah and Bapa and Mika. Simani Bambi, Simani Bamba, and one who won't get you at us. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? We are going to arrest you, then he will come looking for you. Wake up.
Shame and pity. Yes, Can you imagine an army coming to a village? They come to arrest our Mugera. Can you imagine? By the way, Mrs. Mugera. Yes. Is the chairperson aware? Did they inform the chairperson? That is infringement. That is impunity. Huh? That's impossible. It's not allowed. Huh? But I saw the free brand and the network of the organization they were very serious with the issue. And I knew they were going to be something. And I did not leave him again. But I came and informed him to disappear. Leave the place. Mugera insisted. Myself, I came here. I told Mugera to find any other place where he could stay. The guy was just uh, worried about his beautiful home, you know. How can I live my bit from now? now Mugera, is, Mugera is, is behind bars. Where is he? Huh? Now, let me first ask Do you have any relative in the army? I don't have any relative in the army. By the way, Chairman PTA, do you have any connection in, or any person who is working with the PDF? Not have. I don't have. Now, the two of you. Our dear councillor, the Grand Grace, PTA chairperson, and the head teacher. I'm Tony with my secretary, Tina, and I work with love and care for children organization Uganda. We are here to give you the information about the case that Reverend Grace gave to us to handle. The case of the girl, Teo. What pain is a lot, my friends. We tested the man, but Mugela is HIV positive. What? <laughs> we went on and tested the girl. Our girl, Teo, is HIV positive. I feel much pain. Actually, secretary, go for that girl. You go to the vacant room. According to the doctors, our girl is in a very critical condition. Remember, 
us tell got internal damages seriously since she was raped and she's to move with that urinal bag she can no longer support you in for a long time according to the court it's a felony and the Mugela is sentenced to life in prison I'm sending this information to men. Men, please, you're the stars to save our communities. I beg you, see what happened to this girl. She can't even stand for so long. Let us see. Thank you, Council. On behalf of our community, as the councillor, it's unbelievable, but it's right. <laughs> Dear Mr. Tony and your secretary, we want to thank you for the move, for the great move. It was very, very axiomatic. Thank you. I'm known as a strong man in this community, as a counselor, but I'm perplexed. At first, I thought people were just mouth mouthing about our man. Dear fellow men, we have to stand firm and fight this scourge. Look at the girl. Her life has been hampered. Chairman PTA, whenever you communicate to your fellow parents, inform them. Men, let us fight domestic violence. Ndiwe tabanda mbunge wa kesho. Hata mara wisa naweza kuwa mbunge ama naweza kuwa